In this video, we will determine the partial sum using summation formulas. Here we have the sum of 5i cubed minus 2i from i equals 1 and 27. For the first step, let's write this as a difference of two sums. This is equal to the sum of 5i cubed from i equals 1 to 27 minus the sum of 2i from i equals 1 to 27. Now looking at our formulas on the right, notice how here we have the sum of i cubed from i equals 1 to n is equal to the square of n times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 2, which can also be written in this form. But notice how the formula is i cubed and our formula is 5i cubed. So before we apply the formula, we'll have to factor out the 5. And then also notice how the sum of i from i equals 1 to n is equal to n times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 2, where again the formula here is i and our formula here is 2i. So we'll have to factor out the 2 before applying the summation formula. So let's write this as 5 times the sum of i cubed from i equals 1 to 27 minus 2 times the sum of i from i equals 1 to 27. Also notice in both cases, n, the upper limit of the index is equal to 27. So applying the formulas, 5 times the sum of i cubed from i equals 1 to 27 is equal to 5 times the square of n times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is 27, which gives us 27, and then n plus 1 is 28, divided by 2. And then we have minus 2 times the sum of i from i equals 1 to 27, which gives us minus 2 times n times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 2, which gives us 27 times 28 divided by 2. And now let's begin simplifying. 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14 here as well as here, which gives us 5 times the square of 27 times 14. And then we have minus 2 times 27 times 14. 27 times 14 is equal to 378, which gives us 5 times the square of 378 minus 2 times 27 times 14 is equal to 756. And the square of 378 is equal to 142,884, giving us 5 times 142,884 minus 756. And then this product is equal to 714,420. And then the final difference is equal to 713,664. I hope you found this helpful.